it was infuriating that they're letting this happen and they're letting it continue to happen. First on Fox, a local woman claims an area company is spewing dangerous dust into the air and that it made her and her family sick. Although she reached out to state regulators, she says they are not doing anything to stop it. Aaron Nichols is live on the north side with more on these allegations and what the state has to say about it. Aaron. We're here at the Vulcan Materials plant off 1604 and O'Connor Road, which makes ready mixed concrete. As you can see, there is dust everywhere around us. The question is whether or not it's toxic. Crystal Hennigan used to live across the highway from the Vulcan Materials Ready Mix plant off 1604. She says once she and her family moved there, they started feeling sick. Fever, just for a minute fever, it would not go away. Um, chills, flu like symptoms, cough. Uh, I started losing my balance. She says her neighbors were sick too. I just knew that that wasn't right. Hennigan discovered a thick layer of dust kept making its way into her home. She contacted Vulcan and the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to take samples. With Vulcan's tape lift samples that they took, they did find silica and manganese in the household dust profile, which was found inside of my home, and that's unlike a typical household dust profile. Outside, what's been found is fly ash, which is very toxic. She started digging into TCEQ records. What she found shocked her. There are permit violations going dating back all the way to 1991. I think cumulatively, the ones that have been going on underneath TCEQ's nose, it's like a, almost 160 years. If you were to stack these violations back to back, that's 160 years worth of violations. We contacted the TCEQ. Officials told us they are aware of the violations, but say Vulcan is taking steps to correct them. Hennigan says she doesn't know for sure if the dust was making her family sick because TCEQ never tested for the levels of pollutants in the dust. She believes more testing should be done. We don't have any answers. What is falling around our homes? What, why are people still sick? If there aren't any violations, why are people getting sick? Why are things showing up in people's houses? We reached out to Vulcan, but they did not want to come. And now, as for Hennigan, she actually ended, mo ended up moving her family into a new neighborhood on the northeast side. She says since then, their symptoms have greatly improved. She now wants to create a community group where neighbors can come forward with their complaints and concerns. Reporting live on the north side, Erin Nichols, Fox News at 9.